welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a what is in my travel bag. Like what I pack for my carry on, you get it. Realistically, I realized that in the 11 years of doing YouTube videos, I've never done this video before. I've done like a what's in my bag, but never a what's in my travel bag. So hopefully you get some really good ideas. I pride myself on being like an excellent packer when it comes to things I absolutely need to have with me. I'm gonna show you how to pack efficiently maybe give you some ideas of things that you've never thought to bring before that will change your life while traveling. But before diving into it, I wanna thank Clean Reserve for sponsoring today's video. Look, I literally have their new travel size perfume right here. <laughs> As you know, I have been a huge fan of Clean Reserve and their fragrances for like the last year or so, and they just recently came out with a new fragrance called Sparkling Sugar. Oh my God, you guys, it is so freaking good. It of course comes in the full size bottle, but I was also so excited to see that it comes in a travel size because I travel a lot and I love my travel size perfumes. I've talked about this many times. And I'm also very specific about what scent I'm gonna take with me, depending what the occasion is. And also when you're on the actual airplane, cause it can't be too strong. It can't be too, whoa. Like you have to be mindful of the fact that you are surrounded by hundreds of people in a little tube up in the air. You wanna smell right. You wanna give off the right vibe, you know? This is cruelty-free, vegan, and made with sustainable ingredients, which I think is really cute. And obviously very on brand for the fact that it's named clean. Hold on, I have not sprayed it yet. I wanted to like spray it for the first time today on camera so I can get like my initial reaction once again. It's giving top five for me. Like it is so freaking good. I honestly want it in a body lotion. It's and like, here's the thing is by the name sparkling sugar, I was nervous like, oh gosh, it's going to be like really intensely sweet. And I'm not that girl. I like to smell more like clean. Yes, I appreciate like a nice floral moment, but I don't want to smell like straight cotton candy. Cause I feel like it's a little like immature. No, this is like clean, sexy, warm with some sweetness in it. It's fire, you guys. It is so good. You can purchase this at Sephora, Kohl's, and cleanbeauty.com. Oh my God. Okay, so first things first, this is a Prada diaper bag. Yeah! Okay, hear me out. Obviously, you do not need to buy a Prada bag in order to travel, but even going to Target and getting yourself a diaper bag, Literally life-changing. I just bought this like a year and a half ago and I was like, why did I not travel with a diaper bag my entire life? Like you mamas have got it figured out. There is a pocket and a compartment for everything. Even if I shit my pants, there's a pocket for a dirty diaper. <laughs> Love that. So with that being said, we're gonna just dive into this. Okay, first things first, there's the outside pockets, of course, like the bottles. That's where I keep my hydro flask. I always bring a hydro flask with me when I travel because this might sound silly, but I'm just a creature of habit and I love to drink out of certain bottles. So when I travel, I take my hydro flask at home. I either drink out of a Stanley or a hydro flask, okay? So I'll go to a bar in the airport and I'll ask them to fill up my cup of hydro flask. And then I will either use filter water or bottle water and I'll pour it in this. And then that's just what I use for the entire trip. And then once I get to my destination, I do the same thing. I don't know what it is. I've just gotten so used to having this, that this is what I want to drink out of. So I always take a hydro flask with me for the traveling and for the destination. But like also if you want anything on ice, like if you want to stop and get any sort of beverage and you want it on ice, you just have your hydro flask and you pour it on ice and you're good to go. And it's going to stay cold for hours. Let's get into it. First things first, iPad. This is an absolute must for me. If you are somebody who is a high anxiety traveler, like I always have been, this was a game changer for me, was getting an iPad and downloading either my favorite movies or new movies I'm dying to watch. So my iPad is actually completely dead right now, which I just realized. Otherwise I would scroll through and show you like all my movies. But I have over a hundred movies downloaded on my iPad at this point, because I've had this for so long. And then the second I get on the plane, I sit down, I put on my seatbelt, and then I immediately put on my headphones and my iPad and I start watching a movie before we even take off, before everyone is even boarded, because I just want to get on there and go into my own world and act like nothing exists. Everything I talk about will be linked down below, of course, obviously. So even if you want to skip the video, <laughs> don't be mean. Everything will be listed and linked down there for you. But these headphones right here, these are by Bose. These are my personal favorite headphones. There is a pair of Sony that I really like as well. But as far as comfort, these are my absolute favorite. When I fly out to LA, I go out there quite often. And it's like five hour and 20 minute flight for me. And these are comfortable the entire time. They're honestly like wearing pillows. Oh, and the noise canceling is just elite, bitch. It's elite. Cause I, again, want to feel like I'm like sitting in my living room. So I want the plane to be like dark and cozy and I wanna have the noise canceling cause I don't wanna have to hear the jet engine. I don't have to be reminded that I'm 30,000 feet in the air with strangers. I just don't wanna be reminded. So the noise canceling on these and the comfort, so bomb. And I personally think they're so much better than Apple. Not like I'm trying to compare, but they're better. I feel like the whole Apple situation is just for like the vibes, you know, like they look really cool on you're like, I'm that bitch, you know, with the Apple headphones, but like, I don't know. It's probably a very unpopular opinion, <laughs> whatever. Cancel me <laughs> again. 
I apologize if the lighting is just constantly changing this entire video. I'm sitting in front of my windows for natural daylight. So we're just gonna keep it real. We're gonna keep it rolling. Okay, so let's start off with some random things I have in my bag that just make sense. And I'm always happy that I have them. Number one, a pair of just comfy, cozy, fluffy socks. Depending on what I'm wearing through the airport. In my dream world, I'm wearing a pair of these already with a pair of Ugg boots. <laughs> Depending where I'm going, that's the dream because they just slip on and off easy as you're going through TSA. But having a pair of cozy socks, if you're just wearing like a tennis shoe or like a normal sock, you'll be happy you have these. Second of all, a fan. <sighs> Sometimes people think I'm crazy, like you're packing a fan for a flight. Yes, bitch, on this last flight that we took, Oh my God, me and Jordan were so happy that I packed this because they boarded us and they just simply did not turn on the air. And it was hot outside. The sun was beaming on the plane. It was the middle of the afternoon. It felt like it was 85 to 90 degrees inside that plane for probably 30 minutes while everybody boarded. And I pulled this out and I put it in the pocket in front of me in the seat and I just let it fan on me while I sat there. And I was just like, thank God. Which leads me to another thing that I always have. Okay, I can't find it right now because it's probably honestly in my actual daily purse and I need to grab it, but just a small bottle of peppermint oil, all right? Like you can probably get it from Whole Foods or like Young Living or whatever. Small bottle of peppermint oil. And if you're hot, it's like the trick that works every time. Put a little bit like here, put a little bit on the back of your neck and then fan it and you will cool off like that. It is such an amazing trick. So again, just like a little something that you don't think of. And then when you're burning hot, you're like, wow, I'm so glad that I did that, you know? a pack of wet ones because I am disgusted by everything. And and then COVID hit and I got even more disgusted by everything. And I contemplate just wearing a mask 24 seven now in the airport. Cause I'm like, ew, like the idea of sitting in like that recycled air airplane just really grosses me out. And I'm sorry, but on our last flight, we flew home from California on United and the plane had not been cleaned. Like people who were sitting there before us, like their trash was still in the front and it was just crusty. Like everything was sticky and I was just like, I was so grossed out and I was so glad that I had wet ones with me because I just wiped everything down and I'm like, yay. Okay, let's talk about this bag right here, all right? This just has all the little items that you don't necessarily think you're gonna need, but you're really happy that you have them. A pack of gum, always necessary. Electrolyte little tablets, you just drop them in your water. If you're at a layover or something, you need to feel a little health, a little wellness, you got those. Tampons, obviously, you never know when Flo's gonna come visit, even at 32,000 feet. She's relentless. Hand sanitizer, obvious reasons. The world is disgusting. Hand lotion for after the hand sanitizer so I don't dry out my hands. <laughs> I'm a thinker. Lip moisturizer, obviously. And I use the squeeze one, right? Because I don't even know why I have this in here, to be honest. This is um, like a jelly right here. This is my gel my strawberry jelly right here by Jack Cosmetics. But I would not actually travel with this. I don't know how I ended up getting it in that bag because again, putting my finger into something while I'm traveling, germs, no thank you. So a squeeze tube lip moisturizer is what it's about. A Tide stick, obviously. Cuticle oil pen. It gets dry up there in the air, all right? It gets dry. Eye drops, necessary. Make you feel nice and fresh again. This oil right here, it's called Valor. It's great for anxiety. I rub it all over the palms of my hands and I just sit there and I take deep breaths. Like if the turbulence gets really bad or something, it's just a way for me to self-soothe. Advil, an eyelash curler, hear me out, I'll get to it. A brow brush, again, I'll get to it. A little compact, just, it's literally just a mirror. I think this was a gift with purchase years ago, just so if I need to see myself. Tums. Cause a bitch has indigestion. A pen, two hair ties, and a nail clipper. All right, but let's talk about it. Cause let me tell you my routine, okay? All right, so in this other nifty compartment, I have one of these. This is like what you wear when you're getting ready and you wanna push your hair back. Like, you know, <laughs> whatever, you get it. I take these with me because a lot of times on the airplane, I just wanna like get my, I was, it's, I think it's like an anxious thing. I'm like, oh, I just want my hair out of my face and I want my hair up. So I'll put my hair in a ponytail and then I'll take one of these and I'll put this on top and it's just cozy. And then I put my headphones on and it's like my hair is out of my face and I just like nice and cozy. You get it, or maybe you don't. Then I have this sleep mask right here. This is the best sleep mask in the entire world. It's by Slip and it's got these cutouts right there for your eyes. So even if you're wearing like fake eyelashes or you have lash extensions, literally when you put it on, like right now, sorry, I'm trying to talk. Right now, when I put this flat on my face, I can blink completely perfectly without even feeling anything. And I have false lashes on right now. So it's the absolute best. So this is my routine, all right? If I choose to fall asleep or take a nap, whatever. I've got this on, I've got my headphones on, I'm watching my movie. Even if I'm gonna sleep, I still keep a movie playing because I have the noise canceling headphones on and I don't wanna hear the sound of the airplane. So I'll put on like one of my comfort movies. I'll watch like an episode of Friends or like It's Complicated, Father of the Bride, whatever. I have this on. Okay, now it's like, we're gonna start landing. Great, let's take it all off. Okay, here's that. Step one, 
eye drops, ding, ding. Because instantly I feel like, okay, I'm getting refreshed, right? Here we go. Slap some gum in the mouth. Again, fresh, okay? Sanitize the hands. It's all about the feeling, okay? Then I moisturize the hands, okay? Then I put the lip treatment on, okay? Then I curl my lashes. Hear me out. I know that I look like shit. I've been on an airplane. It's fine. But something about a lash curl and a brow being brushed, it just makes you look and feel a little fresher. So I give my lashes a good little hard curl, okay? And then I just brush the craziness of my brows because they've been in a sleep mask and that's not cute. That's it. Typically I'll pop a Tums because, you know, it's life and I'm freaking out. But that's why I have what I have in that bag. And now I just feel like ready to land and much fresher. Something that I do take a lot that I don't have right now because I just ran out of it is a travel size Mac Fix Plus. Just like that spritz on your face just feels like, ah, oh, you can't even bust out your fan. You just feel ready to land. You feel ready to go. Okay, so this bag right here, <laughs> my bag of wonders. I typically have like little snackies in this bag, just like some trail mix, stuff like that. Right now I have two protein bars. And also you guys, this brand of protein bars, it's just called Pure Protein. I get at Target or on Amazon. They're the best as far as ingredients, as far as protein to calorie ratio and taste like bomb. It was actually um, our good friend who's like very, very like fit, fit fam type vibes. He was the one that was like, these are the best and they are awesome. Front compartment, I have a big scrunchie and I'm, <laughs> I don't know if my kitsch sells these anymore and I'm sad about it because I used to just buy them on Amazon and now I cannot find them. I think it was called the Coffee Break Scrunchie. They're the best to ever exist, like big scrunchies and I, I need more. And then I have a barf bag. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm not joking. I take this with me every time I fly. I've never actually used it, but sometimes I just get so nervous and I'm like, I don't wanna use the little baggies that are in the front pocket because that's gross. So like if I have to like throw up, I'd be from anxiety and then I would just be like, to go to the bathroom and I, I don't know how exactly I would go about that, but thank God it's never happened, but I still take it. Cause again, it just eases my mind. Like God forbid I have to puke, I can. And then I have this bag right here. It's as you can hear, filled with all of my travel size perfumes. And then whichever one I pick for that trip, whether it's one, two, three, or four, I then take that one and I'll put it in this bag right here. And today it's sparkling sugar. Of course. And last but not least, a pair of sunglasses. I don't even know what these sunglasses are. They're Amazon, but a pair of sunglasses, obviously for when we land. And that is everything that is in my travel bag. I always do take a neck pillow as well. Like right here, I have this one and I will tie it like to the strap. So like when I'm walking around, it like hangs like this to have that on the plane. And I always do take this in my actual carry on, like my roll away, which is just a travel pillow. Cause I am definitely like, even if I don't sleep, I go into every single flight, no matter what time of the day it is in the mindset of like, I'm sleeping very, very much. Cause I have to get myself into the calmest state of mind possible. Cause I just don't like it. So that's it you guys for everything that's in my travel bag. I feel like that was a really quick, easy, super easy video. Tell me if there's things that I'm missing. If there's things that my life would be better improved if I had them in my travel bag. Hopefully I gave you guys some little tips along the way to help you and your travel experience out. Cause let me tell you a few years ago, just getting on an airplane was such a process. I would be, I would change my flight 30 times. I'd ball my eyes out the entire way to the airport. I'd be in the airport crying. I'd be on the plane shaking. It's just, it was so bad. And I've gotten to a point now where like, I know it works for me. I know the things to take, how to keep myself calm and just get on, deal with it, get off. I was gonna say that's what she said, but no, that doesn't, that doesn't even work. Okay, that's it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.